Welcome back to River City Live. All right, Catalina, you are so excited. You're going over here, you're asking all these questions. So let's dive into the details on this. So Angela's with us and she's the owner of Honey and Brie Grazing. And think about it, with the holidays, this is the style that everybody seems to be adjusting to, grazing. So for the viewers at home that aren't quite sure what grazing is, what exactly is it? Um, grazing is just a little bit of everything. So you've got your, um, your meat, your charcuteries, the cheeses, um, pickles, dried fruits, nuts, chocolates, veggies, a little bit of everything. So there's something there for anybody to eat. For even the, even the picky <laughs> even eaters. Even the picky eaters, uh -huh. absolutely. I've got one at home. <laughs> and Catalina, so, you were excited about this. So this is how you eat. I love these. <laughs> it's honestly, it's a really, if you have like a big family too, like my husband's family and my family, when we get together, like this is the best way I think to to kind of have everyone eating because like you can just kind of come and like graze, pick up a few right. things every now and then. But what is... What are the essential parts of a grazing board? Like, what do you have to have to make it perfect? Um, on mine, <laughs> I have to have honey and brie, obviously. <laughs> True. <laughs> Definitely, you know, a little bit of the meats. Um, I don't know. I feel like you have to have everything. You have to have some veggies, some fruits, the chocolates for that sweet tooth. See, that's what I saw right away was the chocolates. The, chocolates. the first thing I pointed out. I'm like, mm -hmm. is that some sea salt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that some dark chocolate? Right. I like it because it's one of those things, as soon as you get bored with one flavor, you have like 10 different flavors, just, right. you know, to kind of just experiment with. So how did you get into this business altogether? So I um, have always loved entertaining. So I have a really big family. So anytime they would come over, I would always make either a table or a board if I had a smaller group but I just I noticed that they were all gathering around the table and all chatting and, and socializing so I just loved having that so I thought I should start a business and I'm from Jacksonville I'm like, let me spread that joy in the community and people have really taken to it and we're very grateful because look at how pretty I love how beautiful it makes it harder to eat them with the I, prettier right. they are <laughs> the more you're like I just want to take pictures and just enjoy looking at it well, it's not stopping me <laughs> I know right <laughs> true but so with your business you cater and you also right. have gift cards so what we do how what, what's the better gift option for, for these COVID days a lot of for um, since COVID we've gone to boxes and not boards um, and so the boxes this is our picnic box so it feeds um, two to four people and that's been a really popular gift we also have a small box that's a little bit bigger that's an option as well this is our medium box feeds up to 15 people these have been really popular with gifts and then obviously gift cards so you can just send that and they can use can you customize want. the boards like can absolutely. you kind of pick what you want and everything absolutely what is your for this little picnic box mm -hmm. what is your favorite thing to put in these oh so I love the you have to get a cracker with brie with a raspberry and honey, and it's so good. Ooh. It's so good. You knew honey and brie would be in that's the ingredients because that's the name of the company. Asked. All right, so to learn more, the website is honeyandbreegrazing.com. Angela, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you guys. it. Perfect appreciate idea it. for the holidays. Stick around, more to come right after this.